Okay. Yeah, so you went heavy. Of course. So I'm going to go with this one. So I got to remake a fleet. Hey Frost, how's it going? Brother, I am pinged here. I am ping- I am being pinged! <laughs> Brother, I am pinged here. Get rid of that one. Let's go with this one because it has torpedoes. So the game literally warned me that Basically, system requirements are nullified in massive fleet combat. <laughs> oh my god. Because there's gonna be so much. McCrag's honor is only cap- Oh, no, I can get that as well. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we have the McCrag's honor here. Alright. What's the McCrag's honor? That's literally Gilliman's flagship. That's Jesus. I, what? Oh, hold on. Wait. Why did the Imperial Fists get that? I don't get anything like that, I don't think. Why did the Imperial Fist get this ship? No, I get the Battle Barge MK2 and the Battle Barge MK2. I don't get McCraig. What about for your fleet flagship? D choose, uh, create your own fleet and do custom, do like massive fleet. You'll have a lot oh. more fleet capacity. Oh. Okay, so I do... Why do uh, they have this? So I go create... Oh, create a massive fleet. Okay. Because Gilliman is aiding them. No, Gilliman's busy. Imperial Fists are probably way away from where Ultramar is. Okay, so is. I've been making a classic fleet this whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's probably why I've been really sucking. So let's see what I get. Oh, that's why it's got the chain breaking, because we're breaking the game. Oh! Alright, this is pretty good. Uh, why can I save? Oh! Wait. Maximum number of escort ships. Holy... Okay, so I get the McCraig as well, and I also get the Phalanx. Now, what is the Phalanx? Is that the battleship capital city, or...? The Phalanx is literally the Imperial Fist flagship, where it's just a giant flying fortress. Give me about three of those! <laughs> you three? No. Yeah, you can actually, with the massive fleet, you can just do three of them. No way. Oh yeah, way. Oh yeah, my god. You can literally do three of them. You can go in with three of those capital ships, but let's not do that. Because that's just going to be a nightmare. Escort ship limit. I can't save it. Oh, I need a name. That's probably why I can't save it. Okay, there we go. This will be named... Imperial Fisting. Yes. Yes. I will get that secret formula now, Mr. Krabs. Anyways. Oh, no. <laughs> Still building up the floor. Just wait until I go into maximum overdrive. I like this. I, I very much like this. You better, you better not have, like, three phalanxes. 
No, I don't. Okay. If Frost here in chat is just like, do three of them, and then only McCrag's honor. <laughs> only get all of them. I think if you do the Chaos Campaign, you're gonna actually use uh, the Vengeful Spirit, Horus's flagship. I love in the prologue, like the stupid Imperial Admiral woman is like, there's the Vengeful Spirit, we can end this. And then she just has these measly little ships and it's like, fire all guns! And it's like, she shoots the ship and it does like nothing. And then the Vengeful Spirit, like, broadsides them, and in one broadside destroys their entire fleet. It's I like, yeah. what I wanted. Sorry, it just removed everything. I'm trying to figure out why I won't do the launch. I'm ready. Oh. Oh. I had okay, to hit ready. And launch. You ready for your game to crash? <laughs> I'm ready to, like, get frickin' owned, because I have no idea how to play this. I'm only used to dealing with, like, four ships or five ships. Yeah. God, <laughs> this battle station, you're right, Magnus, this battle station will fall <laughs> and just three more of them come out of the warp. <laughs> ah! And on the front of it is just the guy that screams tied to the front. Ah! And it's just hurtling towards... Literally, the Imperium nowadays is like... Chaos are looking on at the enemy fleet. Wait, it's the Phalanx. They've repaired it. And then like five more Phalanxes come out from the warp. Where did they get those? <laughs> what the fuck? You think this is like a board game or something? Wait, why are the Space Marines like twice as big now? What is happening? Where is this coming from? Is that Gilliman? That up in the sky, all you hear is, um, you can't do that. That is against the rules. Oh, fuck you, Jeremy. <laughs> it's just like straight up like nerds playing. <laughs> God, I said that so weirdly. Nerds. Also, I was wanting to do Battlefield 1 again recently. Oh, yeah? Here comes the fleet. Oh, it's showing the oh, close-up. Dude. dude, this ship, this feels like the ship me or you would have in like our our actual like team battles like this is the capital ship i see fet or hark flying what the freaking phalanx yeah um yeah the, no the um the mccree's honor oh yeah it I even has the ultramarine yeah it has the ultramarine thing on it it must be like a hero ship i guess so all right, what do I want to do here? God, I don't even see the emblems anymore. Uh, filter weapons. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where are we? Um, I forget. Yo, 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 yo. This, um, that, um, that yes use your big words the asteroids in the distance remind me very much of a story that i just read of something called dark glass because those what kind of asteroids would those even be they don't look like asteroids that's no moon anyways that's a spaceship <laughs> that's no base that's a fortress yeah, put the battle barges. Yeah, you're right. See, I have chat to guide my hand. Cheater. Put you there. Put you there. Yes. Yes. Good. All according to plan. You excited for Rise of Skywalker? You know, I'm in the middle. I'm not saying I hate Rise of Skywalker. It's just, it's also not 
you know, the, the one on my list of things I want to go see. You know what I mean? It, it's like, oh, that's cool, but... I think Last Jedi just kind of took all the steam out of Last it. Last Jedi killed it. I'm more interested in The Mandalorian. Yeah. That because looks so it's good. like Rogue One. It's, you know, it, it looks good. Looks like it Star looks... Wars for adults, you know? Yeah. Wonder what Rogel Dorn even is doing nowadays. I think he's still in his uh his uh Maybe he's he's still thinking in his uh pain engine or whatever it is. The pain train. Alright, I th I'm pretty much ready. I think Oh shit, nope, nope. Four, five. Yeah, I'm pretty much ready. Um, I, I take it I cannot order my ships to move forward beforehand. Uh, you okay. can just move them about the deployment here. All right. This does feel pretty cool when you're playing with a friend. Yeah. I am ready. There they are. The oh enemy fleet. God. They're appearing on our scanners now. There's no pause speed, so... We stand ready. It's all real time. Repositioning. Gonna have to be fast with these decisions. That's why I number locked all my guys. Oh, that's smart. Show us the enemy. Underway. Well, I sent my guys to an asteroid field. That was stupid. Rally reinforcements. Sca scatter all reinforcements. Where shall we strike? Give us purpose. Moving to position. Give us purpose. You can tell how serious we are right now. Uh huh. Even though we're just testing it out. We still just get so serious with it. We stand ready. To where we are needed. I am listening. Enemy in sight. New vector acknowledged. Standard speed engaged. Enemy in sight. Where shall we strike? Where shall we strike? I so see you got fighters coming in. <laughs> the lances are too strong. We can't. No, I torpedoed my two guys. I torpedoed two of my guys. Show us the enemy. Where shall we strike? 
Redirecting. Standard speed engaged. Show us the enemy. Engines engaged. Oh no, we're getting grabbed. Lightning strike them, their shields are down. Oh, you better watch it now. Do you see what's happening? Oh God. <laughs> Evac fighters! Evac fighters! It's too late for you. Shoot, we are losing our troops though. Ah, sandwich maneuver. I don't even know what's going on over here. I know that's the thing with micromanaging all this. That's what I hate. That's kind of where like I hate the game. That's yeah. That it's so tough with like a large fleet to just micromanage everything. That's why I think the board game does it so much better. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about everything being in real time. Let's finish this. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Oh, the shields are back up. Your Gillymon ship and mine are just going at it right now. This fleet over here, it's just, it's just a clusterfuck. Right I know. Here. I can't even tell who's winning. They're <laughs> just killing each other. Mindless killing. This is what it comes down to. Oh crap. Oh man, Phalanx ain't doing too good. Full charge! For the Emperor! You see, I just brought my first company of t Terminators. Oh no, what? I know, I can't summon mine either, don't worry. Oh no, it was, no, one of my ships just completely blew up. Oh shit, I don't know what's going on here. Oh shit, your ship is here. Shoot. Oh, man. Full throttle. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Mr. Crash! 
<laughs> Captain! What? Look! Look! It is time for your Gulliman ship to go down! Dude, I've been fighting your Gilliman ship. Yours is the one that's. I know, mine is the one that's gonna die soon. But I can't even. Uh, I can't even get out. Have a plasma bomb! <laughs> Show us the enemy. Supercharge the void shields! God, the goalie mod's taking so much damage. Uh, come on. Final boarding action. Is, we're finishing off your guys on this end, however. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gillymon ship your ship! No! You're right! You're right, Magnus! Your ship will fall! Oh god, I think Oh I'm no, gonna... your ship is gonna go with it. Not without a fight? Oh my god, the piece is flying about. Oh, yours is. Oh. This is it. Full steam! Oh, I destroyed yours! No, all my flagships. But yours is going to oh, oh. No. Little ship, full throttle, full throttle, little ship. Ah! Hey, Hark, look at the little ship. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> Boarding action! Oh wait! <laughs> yeah, there we go. Now your crew is dealing with that. Now you're dealing with this. And this. Oh my god, yeah. Send in the Thunderhawks! Now what's the difference between Thunderhawk and Annihilation Squad? Oh wait, oh, yeah, what's the difference between a uh, Thunderhawk and Annihilation Squad? And the other one. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it depends dude, on the fleet. Ship. That look at the. Oh God, it's just God. That looked like it hurt. I don't know who is winning. Me. Look at the map. You have three ships left. I have basically four. Oh, I got three. Yeah, I do have three ships left. You've ta I think you've taken over one of my ships, maybe. Did I? No. No, I have not. I don't think I have. Well, there go. Oh, there's your little one. I see a little one. Yep, I've been hiding some of mine. Repositioning. Oh, it's just broadsides all over that Imperial Fist. And Phoenix said we were shit! <laughs> Real, uh, might. I am listening. Oh. Oh! Nope. Oh, you clipped me! You managed to clip me! Shoot, yeah. I could still do this. Redirecting. I can make it painful for you. Engines engaged. At your command. 
Shoot, I missed with those. Hey, hi. Goodbye, call to arms. I accept it. Oh, I blew up myself! Yeah. It is better to die for the Emperor than <laughs> live for we have the ship. Repositioning. This is it. It was all up to the Millennium Falcon. Underway. Moving to position. Is the debris of the big capital ship still around? Yeah, it's kind of there. Scatter all reinforcements. We're getting out of here. We gotta hurry. We gotta get out of here. Engage the warp drives. Wait, it's not ready. Ah! <laughs> uh, you know what? Out of all the matches I've done, this is probably the most fun I've had. That was pretty fun. GG, GG. That was a good battle. Yeah, Those with two, with so many ships like that, it's just impossible What's really to deal with. really funny is Hart came in with like two capital ships, two of the biggest ships you can get, and I came in with only one and still one. Yeah, I think that's the really cool part here. Well, we know what's happening now. Oh my god! Now you must fight the true beast of the world. This will be. I don't know how the Terranids work, so this will be interesting. But no, we're gonna also try the uh, the campaign. See if we can do two player with that. Yeah, we also. I need to see what else kind of flagships I can get here. So they're all. It's all the same, eh? Yeah. Even for Space Wolves, Phalanx, and that. All right. Um, what does Imperial Navy have for their flagships? The same thing. Except, oh, they have some more stuff though. They have a lot more things for their battle barges. What about the Mechanicus? I want to see what the Mechanicus has. Arc Mechanicus. Mechanicus has a lot of escort ships. Gotcha. And carriers. The uh, the Tyranids. Oh god, so they have a lot of ships. Chaos. They're like very basic, but they come with like so many different ships. Ah, okay, here we go. I want to. I want to see what the chaos have. I'm bringing a fleet so big it's just gonna swarm you. They do have the vengeful spirit. Oh, and they have the a freaking blackstone fortress. They have planet killer. They have Monarchia's. Redemption. I don't know what ship that specifically is. Oh my god. Well, I need to have a vengeful spirit. I'm going chaos. <laughs> I'm joining chaos. <laughs> Did someone say chaos? Oh, oh, smash it. Oh, guys, this is not going to work. Now, 
This fleet's called No Idea. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my god, the number of ships here. This fleet is going to be called Smash It! Smash It! Dee, 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 dee. The Tyranids, dude, all their ships are so, like, dirt cheap. It's literally a swarm. Just ready up when you're ready. Really? You went Emperor's Children? Of course. I would have gone Iron Warriors. I like the Iron Warriors. Remember to ready up when you're ready. Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm good. This is going to break the game. Already, I can tell you with my fleet, it's going to break the game. Also, there's Super Ship, the Ancient One I get to use. And guess what? The Ancient One is only 560 points. Wow. It's so cheap. You can have about a million of them and just fall on charge with those. <laughs> It's ridiculous. See, I can see playing like this and having fun with it. Um, it's just, I guess the big thing to me is, is how much of the game is there to really enjoy and play? I guess if you played it a lot and really understood your ship, it's good. But I don't like, like, I like micromanagement, but I don't like it this much. Yeah. You know? Because each ship has so many different abilities. You're, it, it's just ridiculous. The campaigns are pretty in-depth, though. They are pretty much like a, you know, a yeah. galactic conquest. Well, they do look cool. Like, playing it, seeing how you have to have the shipyards, you have to take those areas. I like that. I just think uh, one where, like, you know, it's a Chorus Heresy era, and you have to invade planets would be really cool. Yeah, I hope someone is making that because nah. certainly there, someone has had the same idea. There is a Warhammer Battlefleet Gothic Armada for Empire at War with like really low poly ships, but it was canceled. They never continued it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Are you seeing my ships? No, I'm seeing mine. Oh. Because oh. mine is... Oh, dude. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, my God. Is, these ships are horrifying. They're just... I'm not even going to split mine off. They are literally... My... Oh, my God. Literally, the bridge is just made out of giant demonic heads and stuff. This is horrifying. And then the Vengeful Spirit... Ew! Vengeful Spirit in the Emperor's Children colors just doesn't look good. Oh, why is... Oh, my stream is buffering. Let me see why. Yep. Because the internet isn't doing good. Don't know why that's a thing. Why is that a thing? Oh, dude. Why is everyone saying I'm po hosting an op today? You don't host ops today. I know this for a fact. I'm not hosting an op today. My post was made before Saturday. For Saturday. I brought more than one ancient one. God, to think of Dawn of War 2, this is what was above us the whole time in the fleets of the Tyranids. This is horrifying. Yeah, I'm not even playing stealth. This is going to be a very offensive fleet.
Mr. Hawkins. Why are you not hosting an op, Mr. Hawkins? The American people need their ops. Okay, um, let's see here. Get ready to be swarmed. This is not, I'm gonna lose this, by the way, because I don't know how to play the Tyranids. I don't know how to play Chaos, so. Well, Chaos, is, I heard, is very similar to the Space Marines. They're very much like well-made ships. And they're also supported by, well, they're very old ships, and yeah. they're also supported by demons and demons. stuff. I am ready. Oh. Oh my god, right off the back, I could just see your ancient one over there. That is terrifying. That's literally the only thing I can see. And there are no, like, pings either that tell me they're there. Oh my god. Well, luckily I have an ability that allows me not to be damaged by, uh... May you die in pain. Yeah, so apparently the Tyranids can stay invisible. There's even a thing if you stay stay still, they don't even have to be in a cloud, they'll be invisible. All you see is the Ancient One. I've seen pings. A lot of pings. Oh, this poor little, like asteroid hive out here is just has no idea what's going to happen to them we stand ready. all right we need a scout oh they're gonna be upon us get ready Reporting. get ready to lock on Oh my god, Tyranid Flyers! Show us our victims. They're all fighters. Where's the Vengeful Spirit? It's on the left side. Oh, they're all going for the Vengeful Spirit. Brace! Enemy ship sighted. All right, get the scout out of here. For the ruinous what was that? Enemy ship sighted. It was some kind of toxic bomb. Oh, 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 get out of there. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't know what's going on there. What's going on there? Quickly, high energy turn out of that, please. Get out of that. Something's going to happen. Oh, my God. That completely deactivated my shields. All right. For the ruinous powers. Let the galaxy burn. What? Set in course. Oh, the Tyranids have somehow what? So is our victims. What are they doing? What are my guys doing? Torpedoes! Oh my god! Look at the Blackstone Fortress! Let's see if they can make it there. Enemy 
Charge! Your orders. Escort craft lost. Repair my ship or ass. Enemy ship sighted. Oh my god. We need to take that thing down. It's closing in on us. Hey, Ark, your big ship in the middle. Guess what? No, 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 no. Fear us, for we strike from the wall. There's only one way to deal with this. We can't let the vengeful spirit be lost. Oh my god, dude, you get We can't let the ventral spirit be lost. Charge! It's gone. Ah! It's a trap. Disengaging. No, I can't believe it. And my Blackstone Fortress blew up, too. I know. I went totally in on that. I was so... Oh my but god. Swarm consume. <laughs> I can't even... Oh my god. I can't even, like, do anything. They're literally... All my ships have gone insane. Hey, heart. Let my big one consume you. <laughs> oh no. All the my ships have just gone insane. Really? I can execute my own ships. Oh my god. They're oh. munching. No. Ship lost. Ship lost. They're literally all running. The really? We've lost the ship. Enemy ship sighted. We return to the war. <laughs> this is horrifying. There's only I one way to end this, so. Oh yeah, because I do have this ability where I guess I can scream. No, we aren't done yet. Oh god, that's so terrifying. They move so fast. We need to turn. You have like a few ships in the rear that might be able to beat it. Yeah, no, they. I don't. I don't think they're gonna be a. Uh... I don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> Troops are lost. All hands. We've lost everything. As the war master wills. Oh no! No! I'm torpedoing my own ship.
Oh, that was so good. <laughs> I was like, no. That was excellent. No joke, apparently they don't have a hard turn, but they full on charge. So when I do this for the feed, they're just charging. That was beautiful. Oh my god. And when they explode, it just does so much damage. Oh, it's gonna kill my ship. Oh, they actually explode, so sacrificing your ships with this is actually a good thing. Look how many guys you have boarding you right now. I know. 16, it's outrageous. I know, you have so many troops, obviously they're Tyranids, but like, you have so many on board. It's just, it's just sacrifice after sacrifice after sacrifice. Hey, I, no. I'm dead in the water with this one. I was literally dead in the water with most oh of my ships. Oh my god, it's horrible. He lost pieces of the ancient one, but God, holy shit! That that was great though, because I literally just ordered torpedoes and a full charge, and your guy just nope. No, <laughs> you're just like, oh no! Oh, that was my... great. Oh shit! No, I don't want to create a classic. I want the massive fleet. We're gonna do chaos versus chaos, I think. What about, oh, you know what? What about the Tau? Oh, they might have some cool super weapons. Get the far sight. I don't remember which one was the one where that's a uh, Gilliman. So I've watched videos on their, um, on like what makes the Tau one of the ones to come to or one of the sides to join. Um, I think they said like like one of the things is like rather than giving people I don't even know how to describe it it's sort of like like it's like okay well we're gonna have uh, like I guess it's like like they don't look at like they look more to making the world a better place rather than what the Imperial do Imperium does so I don't think they even care what you believe in as long as you do your job basically yeah, well, they're all about the greater good. Yeah. I just don't know. I'm like, what's the downside to the Tau? There's got to be a downside somewhere. Well, I think it's like they have a caste system that's like very brutal or something. But it's like, oh, have you seen the Imperium? <laughs> have you seen the Imperium of Man? I don't know about you, but the Imperium has quite a caste system. Greater good is what I'll save this one for. Oh! Experimental railgun shot. That sounds like a cool weapon skill. Yeah, that sounds like the Tau. Good to go. <clears throat> Cause they I think the Tau came about because they were like, you know what? Warhammer 40k needs a good guy side. Needs a what? Needs a good guy side. I thought that's what the Tau are. That's what I just said. The Tau oh, came about sorry. because they wanted a good guy side. I don't ta I don't play tabletop frost. We do tabletop simulator. Fett just got some got a uh, yeah. first strike kit. So and I finished painting um or at least some of them I painted. I finished painting as dark angels. This is my ship. My shit. Okay, never mind. I mistyped and I hit T instead of the right word, so it's, this is my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said I hit P, I hit T, and I'm just like, well, I'm just gonna stick with that. 
This is my shit. I can just imagine like the chaos fleet shows up and Abaddon's just like, this, this is, is my shit. My shit. <laughs> Lord Abaddon, your fleet has arrived. Yes. This is my shit. <laughs> this this is my music. shit. <laughs> No, you go to the bathroom. Lord Abaddon? This is my shit. <laughs> you see that poop over there? That's my shit. Oh, man. It's good. Also, yeah, no, I'm gonna... I think what I'll do is I'm gonna remove the Clone Wars mod, Alpha. Because I was thinking about using their vehicles, but since it's in alpha and it's not their updated version, I'm just not going to use it for the fun mod pack. I will use Legion Studio, though. And, you know, it'll like there's going to be some rules. Like, I'm thinking only phase one and then our farmer. I think that would be good. Like, just some fate. So it's just like, you know, it's a phase one unit that got lost in the warp or something. I think so. That sounds and then, good. like, I think that'd be good because then people kind of don't have to be special units, except then when we do ARF, if we do like an ARF op on there, it's like, okay, three team, three team, three team, commando op, four team, four team, four team. This is, and like, I'm going to give them specific, like, there will be specific rules. Like, if you're, if you're commando, you have to work together, you know, you're only allowed to take these weapons with you. These are, and I'm going to do what Wolf did. I liked how he did it, where he used, our ace and he had him like saved in a crate and you had to pick from those loadouts yeah i think that's a good way to do it because i don't want people running around with random weapons yeah because you we don't have rules against legion studio stuff and all yeah. that so it's like we wouldn't know what's op and what is it well the only rule is that we can't use it i thought but you know me, I stand in the middle of it like I really don't give a fucking there shit. There is real, like, no rule or anything. Yeah. It's just that, as Phoenix would state, they don't, uh, uh um, Gark just doesn't like it. Oh, these I, look like some cool ships. Oh, dude, I like this. I have no idea. Worf. Warfare. Oh wow, they're different attributes. I can select for the deployment. You can get different what? Attributes? Yeah, when the ship is fired at a marked ship, its critical chance is raised by 50. Or I can choose as long as the ship is stealth and stands within a gas cloud or asteroid field, the range of its weapons is increased. So there's one which is like all-out warfare, and then there's one that's more defensive and stealth. Okay. Interesting. Go on with this one. Okay. I have no idea what any of these are. Don't worry, I've never done chaos. They're pretty similar. It's like once you get past chaos, that's where everything gets a little, or like once you get past space marine and chaos, that's where it's really complex. Oh, I like the Iron Warrior ships. They don't look as demonic, personally. Yeah. But the Iron Warrior ships do not look demonic at all. Looking at every single one of these ones, they're actually not that demonic. Even like the flagship with the Horus eyes doesn't even look that demonic. What's funny about the Death Guard and the Plague Marines is like their ships and all that are completely yeah, they like all got, cuss yeah, fully, and all that. Yeah. But M Mortarian's ship is almost completely void of any corruption or all that because he hates really? it. He hates warp craft and all that. 
See, that's what I love. About, that's what's kind of funny to me about the, about chaos is that it's like, oh, well, they're the bad guys. Well, yes and no. You know, it's like I'm in the middle with that because you're right. You're right. You're not wrong. They're definitely bad in some ways, but they're also not completely bad. All right, I'm I'm ready. All right. I keep forgetting how many ships I have. The Tau have very small ships. Well, they're probably very good at range. Fuck. What? Uh, I misclicked, and my formation I had got all fucked up. Don't you love it when that happens? So give me a second. Up on the background, you can see Tyranid hive planets everywhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, I see some of your ships now. Oh, you have two vengeful spirits. And is that a planet killer? Uh, if it's the one in the center with the massive gun, yeah. Oh my god, it's literally like ultra las guns all attached to the front. Alright. They make a move for us. We will send out the first wave. Identified me. We have long range. Okay, so that's how far that goes. Oh no! <laughs> what happened? I, I was like, huh, I wonder how this experimental railgun shot works. And so I fired it forward, and I completely obliterated one of my escort frigates. Oh my god. <laughs> the captain was like, oh, I've never seen this weapon before. How does this work? Boop. The escort ship is like... Well, Bill, I heard they have a good lunch downstairs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Demio Brotherhood responding. Here they come. Oh, Hark, you better get out of the way. Uh oh. Um, uh, what I hit, but you I hit you blew up one of my battleships in one shot. You blew up one of my battleships in one shot. All right, send in the droidicas. <laughs> How may I serve the tower? Oh, Let's see how much damage these do. Enemy target. Drones have 
find an enemy target. Unleash fury. Oh wait, no, that isn't Tau. That isn't Tau like oh, to yeah, say. Oh yeah, you got those ships. Honor the teachings of Vior. We will devour their bodies. Not really a very Tau thing to say. Fire! We missed. Fire the main cannon. Oh crap, get out of there! Get out of there! Full speed! Out of the way! Take down their ship. All of my droidicas are mutant. They're literally going into mutiny. Wow. Cutting laser beam! Oh no, what? My main ship is... Rally! Bring void shields fully up! Wait, come on, we're almost there! Almost! Fire! That's not as powerful as I want it to be! I like how you got your one ships, like, they are just full on running away the Dritica ones. Why would Chaos give a shit if they lost this ship? Oh my god, it's this is an absolute mess. Hurry, we can maybe warp some out. Warp, warp the droidicas, warp the droidicas, warp the droidicas. One of the droidicas got warped away. I can't rally. It's over. Everyone's in mutiny. There goes really? the flagship. Oh, I did a lot of damage to your guys, though. <laughs> when I chose that ship, I was just like, okay, this is going to be the first... Like, I'm just going to fire long range with this. That ship is incredible. <laughs> like... I fired my rail, experimental railgun, and yeah. 
it completely evaporated my escort ship, but when I was hitting your guys with it, it was barely doing anything. From long range, you didn't even see it. You completely obliterated one of those giant Droidica battleships in I one I shot. Was, I was like, I wonder what this does. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, Derek, I think I killed something. Oh, did you line that thing up right? Oh. Oh man, I wonder if you could go through multiple ships. I think with you it. can. I think you can. That is incredible. It's basically a powerful last cannon, I would say. Oh, that was awesome ship. See, I didn't know about the massive battle part. So, all right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. All right, before we do campaign, I want to try one more thing. I want to try the Imperial Guard and see what they get. Okay, you mean the Navy? The Navy, whatever. They're guards okay. in the end. Oh, yeah, and I'll do that, too, if we ever do it. 40k op, I'm doing the same thing with people. Like, if we do guardsmen, there's going to be specific loadouts, and there will also be very good rolls. Oh, okay, so they basically get this. Their Titan ships are just the same as the Space Marines. They just get some extra ships on the side. Yeah. Oh, well, that's stupid. Uh So you're going <laughs> Upgrade lots of thrusters. Reduces the big red button maneuver. Cool down. <laughs> Good stuff. Lots of thrusters. Select my fleet. Let's do this. Let's see what the orcs have. It's basically the battle station from the Imperial Fist, but it's just made into an orc ship. <laughs> the Space God, Hulk, yes. Mega rocks. Oh my god, the Eldar have nothing. Oh. Um. Well, the Eldar is supposed to be fast. Yeah, but they don't even have any super ships. I'm ready. This one will be called... WOG! WOG. <laughs> Excuse me, can you repeat the name? What was the name of that ship fleet again? Oh, you mean the WOG! Ah, oh, yes, 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 the WOG! Yes, that fleet, I really do like them. Oh, yes, very up class. This is it. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Like, they really don't get... The Eldar really don't get much in the way of ships. Yeah, they are fast, but they don't get much else. Like, there's no, like... You know how, like, like the Space Marines get their bulk ship and the Tyranids get their bulk ship and stuff? They really don't have anything bulky. It's literally all light, small ships. They have no Titan class, believe it or not. They have no Titan class ship. It would be funny if a craft world was their Titan craft. Uh, oh, dude. The, <laughs> it's like, like a planet. Like, 
it's one of their vo- it, no 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 it's one of their warp gates you put it wherever and they can just summon ship reinforcements constantly so like like if you blow up one of their ships you can, it just respawns it you can respawn your fleet if they all get destroyed that would be incredible so it's like like you have to really but that but the only thing i see is that then people would just rush that and destroy it and be done I can't believe school's gonna start up tomorrow. Ugh. What are you eating? Oh. Sorry, I popped some vitamin C gummies oh, in my okay. mouth. Oh my god. Oaks, 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 oaks. Like, what even is that? What even are these? I'm not even going to have anything. No formation. I know, that's what I did with the Tyranids. Oh man, these are cool. <coughs> I'm ready now. Good to see the stream is having problems again. Skipping frames. I'm going to check that out real quick, see why it's doing that. Is it doing that? Okay. Now it should be a bit better. And there's every single emergency vehicle in my town. I know, right? Every single emergency vehicle is going right now. Alright, that's much better. Are you ready, Fed? Yep. All right. Even though my stream is buffering, who cares? It is time to end. You're completely off my map. I can't even see anything. There's really? nothing. Here we go! Yeah, my now my stream's starting to give out. Now it's starting to skip frames and be all laggy. I'm watching it now on my laptop. God, you have these massive ships with orc faces built into them. Yep. I love how it's just literally orc faces with a gun in it, and then up top is literally orc gods on top. It is literally just an asteroid. I think there's chaos ships in there. I'm gonna call Spectrum again today to figure out what's going on. Because like there can't be something wrong with my modem if it just picks and chooses when to, you know. 
I, I just don't get it. Oh my god, the Space Hulks. All these ships don't even have a meter. There is no fear. Well, that kind of makes sense. They don't even have a meter at all. It's literally, they go as fast as they want to. Really? Full burn is big red button. I don't know where they are. Oh my god, the torpedoes fire in every single direction on the, sp on the Space Hulks. They just fire everywhere. You got it. That's horrifying. You got it. Is best. I don't know where they are. But we're going to just fire torpedoes in that direction. Shields are down. There's a ship. Oh my god, what was that? Oh, you know what that was? I think that was... Orcs have this weird psychic ability in some of their things, where they can like channel energy. Mm. And it does a lot of damage. Come on, get closer. You got it. Where are you going? Are you ready for this? Sure. Are you sure? Are you sure you're ready for this? Ah, there's your ships are so hard to see. Oh, I see what's going on. Oh my god. god massive ship. I cannot believe Oh my that. god. We killed it quickly and effectively. Oh my god. Oh, that ship! It's mutinying! 
We better take it down! God, what is going on here? I bet you won't expect this thing. Space Hulk. You got it, boss. Gold in is what orcs do best. Orcs is best. Move that junk. Enemy ship sighted. Please ready. Full spread. Oh. oh, I did not see that. <laughs> Hit the you got it, boss. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my god, look at the wog coming from, like, the spaceships. There's literally, like, a mouth clamping. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Oh, point blank torpedo spread. Oh. These Space Hulks, once you get up close, you're screwed. Because they can launch torpedoes from literally four different directions. Yeah, I got nothing up there, so now it's just a small... Oh my god. You were, you were picking us apart at the start, but once I, I kind of understood what was happening, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, you're approaching me? Slowly but surely. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. Huh, boss? What is that? You damaged my warp. I can't warp out. Close in on him. Those orc psychers are powerful. Like, they just keep hitting your shields. I did, how many bulks did I take out? One or two? You took out, I think you took out one. Maybe, let's see. Yeah, you took out one because I think I had three. Here we go. Oh my God, just launch all the torpedoes. I oh, you you got off the map. Oh. Yeah, I retreated. Look at all that damage you did to the Space Hulk, though. So, with the Eldar, it's all stealth. They cannot engage in a fair fight. But my plan was to go behind you and attack, because I was like, okay, maybe you can't turn. And I'll use my main fleet to distract him. I think that's what fucked me over, was I used my main fleet to distract It him. worked for the most part at the start, because you were picking apart, you picked apart one of my Space Hulks and all that. 
And it's like, I had no idea. And my orc ships don't have a fast turn. Yeah. Wait, I was surprised that you didn't charge. That's the whole point of the orc ships is to hit the red button and full charge things. Yeah, well, that's what I eventually did. And that worked pretty yeah. well. So, you want to try the campaign? Sure. Um, I don't. I think I want to just completely start over the Imperial campaign because I have royally. Run? I'm going to completely start over the Imperial campaign because I royally right. screwed myself. So I'm just going to do a new Imperial one. Um, actually, let me look up. How to do two plus? <sighs> Stupid internet, dude. It's so aggravating. The stupid internet. Don't worry, mine's been acting up too. No joke. Whenever I go to do, um, what is it? Um, also make sure you skip the tutorial. Yeah. I still don't. I don't think you can do the campaign two player. Oh uh, yeah, you can. Customize. Uh, it, uh, difficulty preset medium. But no, my internet here has been a little funky lately. Like, it's um, it's been doing something weird where the internet will actually go and um, like I would do Battlefield or Battlefront Two, and my and I'll say you have a really poor connection. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Cruise Flash. Campaign tutorial. Um, okay. Play the campaign. Let's see. So I think I go through like the first part. <laughs> the Imperium of Man. A million worlds scattered across an uncaring galaxy. I've already A seen this, worlds. so I'll skip this. There's, there's probably a way I can go in and select co-op because that's literally what the campaigns are. I know you can do that with um, Dawn of War 2 as well, which I think would be kind of fun to do. I didn't even know that. I didn't know. Yeah, Dawn of War 2. You can do the campaign co-op. We got to do that sometime. We'll set something up. See that, Domitian. Star sights indicate we've entered real firm. Not too fleet. Okay. What is this I smell? Another so called warrior come to chance his blade. I am Lord Admiral Spire. I will be your death. Not this day, Lapdog. My lieutenants come to claim your skull. It shall adorn the War Master's throne. We shall see. Ready main batteries. There's a lot of stuff I gotta set up. I gotta set up stuff for, um... Understood. Engaging engines. Changing course. Cruising speed set. I think doing, like, versus each other, I have a lot of fun doing that with this game. But when you play against the AI, I think the issue with the AI is that the AI is just like, it, it can micromanage all the units and have no issue with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you're playing with your, by yourself and you're fighting the AI, it's so hard because you have to micromanage each ship. 
To the point where you just spam buttons just so that you guys will do something. I think they went for something really cool here. I just don't know if it was like there was too many good moves. And what I mean by that is like, like for example, if they based they based it off the board game. Well, there's yeah. a big difference between the board game and a computer game. If it's real time, it can be chaotic as shit. If it's more like the board game, you have time to consider your objectives and thoughts. Like, okay, I'll move here. It's not as cool looking, but it makes more sense. You're just going through the first part? Yeah. I will say I like all the factions. Battle protocols engaged. Underway. Course engaged. Reaching nominal speed. Engaging. Weapons calibrated. Targeting enemy vessel. Transition begun. Calculating vectors. Dead. That's the last of them, my lord. Negative. They were but the tip of the spear. I calculate that the others will soon arrive. It matters not. I led a fleet through the bleakness of the Gothic War. By comparison, this is nothing. A pity that war cost us our greatest heroes. But I wouldn't give to have Captain Abrador at my side. All decks report ready. Good. We shall forge new heroes this day. Let us hope they suffice. Seems they've come in strength, Lord Admiral. All ships. The Emperor protects. Engage at will. Survival probabilities are unfavorable. Recommend you withdraw. All ships, hold position. Doubt forms the path to damnation. There is no doubt while strength abides. Magnificent Emperor. Is that what I think it is? The sons of dawn heed your call, Lord Admiral. It's good to see vessels of the Adeptus Astartes, Captain. Oh, that's Thank really interesting. But hope and faith bring victory soon. The war never so apparently the Blood Axe Orcs kind of work with the humans as mercenaries. Yeah. That's really interesting. Like, you'd think most orcs wouldn't do that, but apparently they work with some of them, only to use them against the Imperium.
Time for a ram. Changing course. Ah, yes. Targeting enemy vessel. Optimal course set. Target on screens. Impossible, Admiral. Transition begun. Ooh, generator damage. Heading acknowledged. It comes the Imperial Fist coming in for a ram. Alright, we got a high energy turn this. We're gonna melt a torpedo him. A bit faster than I thought they would come out. Engines engaged. Engaging drive. Battle protocols engaged. Engaging engines. Gonna cut them off. Did it. Their ship is in full mutiny. Last traitor vessel destroyed, Lord Admiral. No further signatures. And allied ships? Nothing more. Others may be inbound. We can wait no longer. Let stragglers seek our trail amongst the dead. We have a fleet. I must confer with Lord High Admiral Drang as how best to employ it. We will have vengeance for Cadia. All right, hopefully it'll stick me into the campaign now. Receiving communication from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. Alright, now we need to regain control of resistance within the Cadian Sector, currently held by Chaos. Okay. Cooperation. Invite a friend. So I can do that. Submit an invite. I did. Oh, there we go. Play. No, I think I told my mother, I said the next thing I'm saving up for is the $90 um, Warhammer set. It's the starter collection. It gives you, it's not the Primus Marines. I'm not getting that one, but this one comes with like a, a 10 man squad of space Marines, like the tactical Marines. And um, I think it's one captain captain class like you're basically like you know your captain or leader as well as a um primus dreadnought i think okay I, I think i'm here okay okay so i see your guys stuff um i guess i can control at your your fleet and tell it where to go i think you can maybe cooperation Ongoing co-op campaign with Harkins. Shortcut F. Okay. Always join call to battle. Yes. So the um, 
the main thing that I struggled with was the income. Because the income was very difficult to get. Very low, yeah. And it's like, because you can put minefields and defense platforms up, but they're expensive. Mm -hmm. You want to get, like, different things, upgrade the different um, hives and stuff. Well, let's... I want to say, let's not defend Belizea, um, Belazar. While it is a nice map, we should focus on getting the demon... Demos Benari and get that Demos Benari because that's a Forge world. Yeah. And out of all the planets, the Forge world is the key to this entire battle because that's where we'll build our ships. Yeah, exactly. So. But we can go there this. right now and destroy them because they've got right. a weak fleet. Um, do you want to just call like which one of them we want to make our fleet? Like you could be a Pearl Fist, I'll just be the Tech Marines. Okay. And I'll take the Tech Marine fleet. You can take the Space Marine and the other heavy cruiser. That sounds good. So I'm going to warp this one over there. I'll take Spire over here too. Then we should be able to initiate battle. Alright, so I hit ready. Uh, I think that's for, uh, yeah, launch battle. There we go. Okay, yeah, no, I have to hit ready to launch it. Um, Word bearers, a. Eh? Oh, what'd I do? Okay. All right, I'm launching. All right. So we'll see where the, how this works. Yeah. I do like these cutscenes. I've seen this though. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to let it run or skip it. Nah, I'm skipping it. Ten millennia since. As I've seen that already. But there hasn't like that's the one thing I hate though. There hasn't been any good Warhammer games out recently. So a lot of fans are going back to old. Ones. I know I told Hark. Uh, there's the augmented Space Marines mod that adds all kinds of cool new stuff to the. PVE and then separate stuff to the PVE or PVP. So I want to get some things going with that. Yeah. As well as there's Horus Heresy armor in it now. So you can make the Luna Wolves and go into battle. They also added Thaddeus's head. Remember Thaddeus from the Space Marines? So they added his head into the customization. So if mm -hmm. you don't want to wear a helmet, you can go in like that. Which is pretty nice, because that's something I really hate, is that a lot of the character models you can get... Like, there's no good Space Marine game where you can customize a Space Marine and send in a tactical squad in. That's yeah. of your own design. Alright, so we'll see what I get to control. I wonder if I get to... Like, if we control both, actually. Um... Oh, wow, so I do get full control of every ship. So I'm gonna take... Okay these two all right your uh, adeptus ship has some nice technical stuff like a stasis bomb yeah and all these different things see now for if we now if we can do the co-op cooperatively this might be this is one of the main reasons i think i would get it actually yeah because well, it makes micromanaging a lot easier yeah I love how, okay, so apparently something's bugging out in my side, so we're like, so click on the Tech Marine ship, so if you look at the weapons, like, go to your filters, and go to, like, show, like, ship panel, and show weapons, okay? If you click on my ship, one of them says, weapon, 0101 doesn't exist. Really? Where does that yeah. say? Okay, so I have two side guns and then... Oh, I can select! What can you do? I can select which ships you can control. Oh, really? Yeah, so I just selected those two ships for you to be allies. So I can't even select them anymore. Really? These two? So can I select... No okay, well I can still select yours. Uh, well, I'll set it so that I can... This is mine. Okay, so... Yeah, these are guests. So now I can... Okay, so I can also reset them as well, but that's... Okay, so host... 
And this one will be guest. Okay, I like that. That is cool. So now you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting their units. Yeah. All right, well, I'm ready if you're ready. All right. This is pretty cool. I like it. Your orders? So I don't know what gun... I'm going to take it as a LAS cannon or something at the front. So we'll go for the smoke cloud. Yeah. To where we are needed. Show us the um, I think you're going through an asteroid field. Yeah, your Go ship's away. taking damage on the side. Your your main see one. That. Engines engaged. I like the battering ram. There's just a hive city on this asteroid out here. Give us purpose. Just a random city. Heading acknowledged. It's insane. This is like New York City on this asteroid. In space. In space. We stand ready. All right, I think this little ship is a lot faster, so I'm going to have him scout on ahead. We wait your command. I'm getting no like. Rip. Uh, pings or anything on map. Show us the enemy. It might be just a single. I think it is a single. I think food. it is because when I did it, it was like a. Yeah, remember when? When you do full burst, it detects you to the enemy. Gotcha. So right I hate now, that you're there's detected. just a white box there. I do hate that. How it just says like does not exist. But the weapon says number of oh shit, what the There they are. Shit. Shit, turn hard, turn hard. Full speed. We see them. I got fighters on me. Does this thing have fighters? No. I'm sending th some fighters now. Standard speed. On target. Obliterate the target. Melt the torpedoes away. That's going to be a direct hit. With one. Engaging. Give us purpose. Careful. I'm gonna fire some torpedoes. Copy. Coordinates acknowledged. We'll get out of your spread. Acquiring new vector. Gonna put down plasma bomb on them since they don't want to move from their gas cloud. That's probably gonna hurt. This little guy doesn't hit. Okay, there we go. I was like, he needs to be sized, sighted. For the Emperor. For the Emperor. I am listening. Impossible, Admiral. We serve. Impossible, Admiral. Oh, the shields are up. Oh, shit. Misfire on torpedoes. Cappy, I see him. Begin rearmament. It will be destroyed. I admiral. Show us the enemy. Coordinates acknowledged. A thousand souls already lost. <laughs> uh oh. Don't worry, it's it's a uh, stasis. Okay. Well, they're they're gonna die. Yeah, they dead. Yeah, I can see the bigger battles. This being pretty cool. Oh yeah. My only hatred about the campaign is that it's Imperial Fist.
left side with you and you can't like like i wish it was like you know like you have this campaign and then you have like a basically a galactic conquest basically where you can choose the chapter or fleet system you want like say you want dark angels you can have dark angels i understand they can't do that completely but it just kind of sucks that you know you can't have dark angels yeah but all the ships are like ultramon and imperial fists so also why do the tech priests want to help these guys like i'm like not the banter on anyone's parade it's just they're tech priests like i thought the like well they kind of serve under the imperium they're just not part of the like that's what i don't understand about the tech priests they're like not part of the imperium but they are the imperium well yeah because they're they're so deeply at this point they're so deeply ingrained in their alliance that they're you know yeah all right pew 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 he's dead so i don't think we can build anything we gotta wait I and can. I got a phone call home from them. All right, gotcha. Let's see what I can do with my ships. Probably nothing right now. A lot of these systems don't have any support. Could easily just sweep through these systems, get a lot of income, and then their fleet would be able to come up here, take this system, prepare for the next one. We could cut them all off here. The other way is going to be a fight, though. While you're on the phone, I'm going to actually, uh, we're going to take a very short break here. I'm going to go uh, get something, not get something, maybe get something to drink, but also go to the restroom and such, and I think we will be right back. Yo, he's a pirate! Yeah, what? Okay, I'm back. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm back. Gonna boop and then no. Boop, that's what I wanted to boop. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I've done this. I've done this for a while. Okay. Okay. All right, we're going to the next system. We need to move all of our fleets. Is the thing. Oh wait, no, we have to end our turn, don't we? We can't just keep on going. Okay. I'm ready to end the turn. Oh, uh, you know what? Nah, we need... I think we need something here. I think we need like minefields.
Yeah, we need, let's just put minefields here just because like we need to. This is literally linked with Cadia. So I think everything linked with Cadia is at risk of being attacked. So with that, now I'll end the turn. So there's no urgency bar, I don't think. I don't know if there's any urgency bar. Fett. Fett's looking at his fleet right now, it looks like. I think putting just a minimal amount of defenses up would be alright. This is not really a big map for a almost galactic conquest like thing. But you know what, that's all right. to end the turn. There. All of our ships have been repaired as well. This would be so much harder on medium difficulty. Alright, so we do have an urgency thing. That's kind of good. Now I think we should move to the Clauston system. It's a mining world, has a miner shipyard. I think that would be advantageous. Oh, I see. Fett, put, Fett spent money on defense platforms as well. Yeah. Okay, Fett is messaging me saying to build up the Imperial Fist fleet. He's right about that. I'm gonna add an escort ship. That will help me. Confirm. Remember, remember, Fat, we got a very limited amount of money. I just need money. Wonder what Spire can get for his ships. Wonder when we can get to the BS tier. Let's see. Alright, now I'm thinking we should go to the next system. Bring all of our ships to the next system. Because personally, I don't think the chaos are going to go away from Cadia anytime soon. I think they're gonna hang around there. 
So I'm gonna bring all of my other ships over there with you. We need to make sure we keep our power all in one place for this one. All right. We don't need to put any defenses up right now because this is kind of a uh, inner world. There's no system connected to it. All right. Um, yeah, I think we can end turn. See how chaos is slowly building up defenses, and so I was like, "Oh, if we if we hit Cadia now, maybe we'll be able to make it." And it's like, "Nope, that didn't go well." All right, we can upgrade the Forge World over on Demios. We can upgrade the shipyard over there yeah I see you want to maybe we should upgrade the asteroid fields with the shipyard because won't that give us another point to build ships with the forge world would uh, probably help us with other things as well I think I'm going to upgrade Yeah Upgrade that And upgrade Sorry, mama. Hey. Is that my mom? <laughs> I'll have to give her a call because we were doing this and I'm like, oh, I feel bad. Poor Keegan. Oh, he's <laughs> dying out there. Oh, God. Should I upgrade the Forge World? All I want to do is give my, uh, give our escort ship for this fleet. All right. But it's not letting me add the ship, even though I'm at the planet, unless I'm selecting the wrong one. No, no, this is the right one. How Maybe. do you add a ship to the fleet? Do you know? I think you gotta drag and drop it. So I just like, cause you built one. So yeah. I'm like, like I wanna build the Falc Falcon onto mine, but it's not letting me select the ship. Um. And it's one build point in 39. Do we have? Yeah, no, we have the money. We have 339. You need, that's because you need to, uh, is it an escort? Yeah. I think it's because you already have an escort. Oh, really? I think certain ships require that you have only a certain number of escorts. Okay. Oh, did you upgrade the Forge World? No. Okay, because uh, I don't know what happened here, but we have D Demo, Demo Spinaria. Hell has build points on it. Yeah. Oh, I. that's because I upgraded the space station, the shipyard. Okay. I'll upgrade the Forge World as well. And look, now we're getting money. Yay. So now we aren't losing money, which is good. All right, well, I'll hold and see what happens up here. Um, your Imperial Fist has... How many ships again does the Imperial Fist have? Two now. Okay, I'm going to pull the capital ship back to the Forge World because there's that Chaos Fleet next door. I don't want to lose this shipyard yet. 
Yeah, and I'll bring I'll bring my Imperial Fist back as well. Just oh, because I was gonna I'm say, gonna just build go take here. The next, oh no, you already capped it. Did you cap that planet down low? Uh, no. The Hel Helotos? Okay. Uh, we'll go there next phase. Let's build up... Um, oh, I could actually... You know what? I could do that right now. Yeah, go do that. I'm actually... You know what? Since there's one build point, I'm actually going to build a... Um, Survivors emerge from the ruins of Cadia looking for a way to avenge their kin. They offer their lives and everything. Is that the sun? No. It's a fucking Imperium! Wow, I received 100 resources for 10 turns. Wow. So we got oh, some nice. profits here. Nice. We got an agro we got an agro world as well. Very cool. That's very good. So you're checking out all the naval you ships. You might be able to, you might be the only one that can build ships. Are you sure? Um, I'm clicking on one for the the main p fleet, the uh, Gothic ba battle group, which only has one ship. You're right. I think I might. Okay, so which ship do you want? Um. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going with this Manufactorum one. I want. Um, I wonder if there's a way for you to reset it. Go to the Cooperations tab. Like, get out of that and go Cooperations tab. Yeah. I, I wonder, is there a way to um, to set it so that I can access stuff? I don't know. What is this shortcut? Oh, it just shows where you're at. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Uh, let me take a look at the ship again. Because then let me access it when you have it selected. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I need to get out of it. Okay, go ahead. Because uh, there was a specific one. Because that one has torpedoes. Now, little Jimmy, let me know which ship you want me to buy for that you. It kind of sucks that I can't choose what to build. a specific one here. Is this it? Yeah. Uh, it's the Falkshun? Falk Falkshun, I believe? Yeah, it's the Falkshun. Hey, guys. Shock to your unit lead. Okay, hey, don't say anything bad, because we're recording. Ah, okay. I just have a question, Herc. Uh, yeah. That timestamp that you said, Courage, of the stream? Blind. Blind. Yeah. Uh, what time was it exactly when that, you know, when it happened? The entire stream. Okay. Oh, is this about... Oh, okay. Yeah, the entire stream throughout the entire operation, Shaq. If he watches okay. it just for any amount of time, yeah, he will see something stream. bad happen. Okay? That's how bad it was. That's why I sent the entire stream. Yep. Okay, I'm All getting right. you the falchion. Thank you. Thank you for that, by the way. Um, also, to everyone watching your stream. <laughs> yes, this is the monkey. That's Shaq, the monkey. I can't. It's literally escort ship limit. Really? Yeah, it says escort ship limit. I can't do it. Wow. I think next turn. We should have a build, build a, point on this yeah. thing. I'm just, you know what? I think I'll just build a new fleet. Oh. That's what I'll do. Because you got the Imperial Fist fleet. I'll just build a new fleet. Are you able to do that? Yeah, I can build a new fleet. Create a new fleet. I can do that. That's hilarious. So you can create a new fleet. Oh! What? <gasps> oh. What? Oh. Can I? How much money do we have? Back. Yeah, can I make a new fleet really quick? Uh, we don't. I don't know if we have enough money, do we? We have two hundred thirty-nine. I can I. I can either pay two hundred eleven or I can pay one hundred ninety-six. Can I buy? Can I buy the Vanguard Mark Three 
one nine six. I found out I can make an imperial. I can make a dark angel tap. Okay, go angel. ahead. Go ahead. You can do that because we have profits coming in. We have profits coming in, so we can oh, afford wait, to splurge. Oh, available slot zero. Oh, I can't make it until. We uh, need. You know what? We probably need more renown. More what? Renown, because that's a thing. Yeah. So let's go. We'll um here. I'll ready up. We'll just keep going. We'll figure out what we want to attack. Let's yeah. see what the fleet we have. Then we'll build up from there. Okay, so they've reinforced. Now, what's reinforced mean? That means they just gain some more points. They gain more. Uh... Okay, up there. That's our. Okay, so you only have one adaptive fleet. Okay, I see how this. Open renown. Um, adaptus. So we need to get up to tier three. Yeah, progression. Once we do win more battles, we'll be able to do it. By the way, you now have another build point. You're right. Um, let me see if I can build. Okay. Because that might because. It might be that the Imperial guy down there can't have anything else because that's just how he is. This mining world can be upgraded now. I don't think this guy can get any more ships. It's not letting me add anything. I don't think he can make anything. I don't think... I think the um, Manufactorum guy can't have any more ships. So, I think we'll just have to attack ourselves. Um, Let me see. Well, we don't want to go for Cadia. I can add more ships. Do you want another light carrier? Yeah, give me an... Um, yeah, give me another light carrier. Endeavor, Endurance, or Defiant? Um... What's the stats on the one guy's ship? Here, I'll let you just take a look. Thank you. Okay, so this guy's got torpedoes and whatnot, and I want the... New ship. Well, they all use torpedoes to a degree. What's this thing? Um, endurance. Go with the endurance. Gotcha. New ship endurance. Boop. Okay, and then confirm. That's really stupid that I can't access it. All right, let's see about ships for my Imperial Fists. Oh, it's too expensive. That's fine, we can wait a turn. Am I still in the game? I don't know. Mm, yeah. You're here. Okay, I did something bad. I went to go Alt Escape out of the game to go look at something and I'm not and it's just got me at the main menu. I think the game crashed. I just want to... Um... Still says I'm doing co-op with you.
Um, can you kick me from the match? Okay. Oh, you're gone now. Yeah, I figured. I think the game crashed when I alt escaped. I don't do alt escape anymore. I do like a control tab, I think, or is it alt? It's alt tab. We'll see if that fixes it. Uh, I'm going to end task it. I'll be right there. So I looked up online. Um, it seems that that's, a, that's literally a flaw in their game. They literally did not, when they did the co-op, they didn't think to let co-op player guests build ships. So you have to have the, the host build the ships, which I think is really stupid. It's like, are you serious? Like, seriously? Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's using only one income. I know, but at the same time, like, I mean, it should be like, you know, you're not, I, if you're playing with someone random, then you got a problem. Yeah. You know, it's not like I, I'm calling up Jennifer from downtown and saying, hey, um, Let's do this game. And then Jennifer is a dick and decides to be, um, be a pain in my arse and trolls me through the entire campaign. At that point, if someone's trolling you, you just, you just leave. You just and, the, and, then, and then she takes all your money and spends it on drinking. And then it ruins your life. Lisa, you're tearing me apart. We must hurry. The urgency level is going higher. No, I'm just kidding. Whoever controls the Cadia system controls the whole sector. Look at all, I mean, holy crap, dude. Cadia is like everything. Look, I mean, it's ridiculous. There's so many planets and things here. Oh, I know. Oh, while I'm loading. So the um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare trial for the Alpha like I said, I like the gameplay. The issue is they showed off two of their modes and they just weren't my liking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, they weren't bad modes. Like the one where like, like they're not bad. It's just my issue is it's kind of like, like there's no strategy to it. They're very much like one side spawns on one side, the other side spawns on the other and you just attack each other face first. It's sort of like, like putting two people face to face in cars and then having those cars go straight at each other and then ram head first into each other. That's literally what the mode is. It's like Halo 5's um, battleground area. Spartan Op or whatever. It's like that. And then they have another mode where it's the same thing but you have guns scattered about the map and on walls and you have to grab those ones and then quickly adapt and fight each other. Alright, send me invite. Actually, let me see something. Join game, there we go. You know what's hilarious? You look at the Cadia sector, and it's like the entire bottom right part of the sector is like, this place is destroyed. This place is destroyed. This planet is dead. This is a fortress world. This is destroyed. Fortress world. Volcanic desert. Volcanic. It's like, oh my god. You really understand why they have the fortresses worlds to begin with. Yeah. Like, I know I know that like the tower like well one with nature. It's like, yeah, no, we would do that if Chaos wasn't being a dick and Slanesh wasn't trying to, you know, rape us. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally, a means to an literally. end. Literally. 
Have you seen the... You need to type in Slanesh, because it's kind of cool looking at the Chaos Marines. There's this one image that I saw that was horrifying, where it's got a Slanesh female demon behind the Chaos Marine. And then one of, one of the Chaos Marines who's devoted to Celeste's arm is just this woman naked, just unconscious. <laughs> he has her in his arm. And I'm just like, God, I know what's going to happen. And that's the worst part. <laughs> it's those dang Emperor's children. Uh, you know, no joke. There's like a part of me where like, like I see why, like out of all of them, I do see why people would join Tau because like they're offered so much more. Good stuff. But the at the same time, there's space commies. True. So what's the red bar down there mean? Urgency. Every time one of these goes up, the threat level goes up. So that means that the enemies will become more aggressive. So, in order to t get that down, I think we gotta win battles and such. Beat them into submission. Gotcha. Hey, um, so I'm gonna bring the Mechanicus, my Mechanicus fleet down. Do you wanna go attack the Vorgo Quarto system? I don't know. I thought maybe we'd cut over to the right. Cut over where? To the right. Oh, you want to strike those guys? Oh, yeah, because sure. if we take those, our renown will start going up and we'll be able to get All more right. fleets. I'm warping my guys over there. Copy. Copy. Take the sector. I'm going to put up a minefield here just in case they come over. All right. Very good. Um, I say save up so that when we get up to the Baptist Mechanicus, I want that Imperial Dark Angels fleet. Yeah. Okay, so I kind of like that. I didn't know you could, like, when you build a new fleet, you get to choose a different house. I like that. Do we... So, do you think we can take on the fleet at Barissa? Yeah, next move. I can't move now, so oh, I have okay. to hold here. Gotcha. But yeah, no, we can take it. I'm just worried about the Forge World because Cadia is like right next door. I know. But they aren't too aggressive yet. Now. I just noticed something. Where the hell's the warp? Like, shouldn't the warp be like right on Cadia's doorstep? Well, the Cadia is destroyed and all that, so it's like. The chaos probably just spread out at this point. Alright, should I upgrade the hive world back at the Belisar? Uh, where's that? Is that Demos? No, that's the space station. Which one? Belisar. It's at the top. Our oh, first gotcha. one. Gotcha. Um. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Oh, I can. Oh, of course. I can't build ships, but I can press on tier two and it'll let me upgrade. I know. We can also upgrade the agri agricultural world over at uh, Helatus. Um, let's hold because we need. Because I want to get a decent ship for the next fleet. Yeah, and that's so, just like evolution yeah. stuff. All right. I'm going to warp over. All right, so together we'll have 400 to take on this fleet, but this is a 312 fleet. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm going to warp over there and begin the assault. Copy. Are you even able to launch the battle, though? Yeah, I clicked. Oh, no, no, you have to launch the okay. battle. Okay. We all, it's the Emperor's children. That's a creepy face. I know. That's half demon. <laughs> Come into my house, little boy. <laughs> half cat demon. The space range just like, oh! <laughs> no, my rules, if we do a Warhammer fun up, it's basically that, like, if you're space marines, you only get one super weapon. So you can either have a heavy bolter, 
you could, you're you one of your guys to have a heavy bolter for support or anything else, and it has to be a five man team. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds stupid, and we could do ten man with a team with a squad lead, but I kind of want to do just five man because you're already OP as hell. So yeah, I think you can handle just five men, and of course we're just gonna lay into a like turrets and everything. So what was it like playing as the uh, the Tau in this one when you got to do it? They have very good long range lasers and stuff. Yeah. But once they're up close, they aren't yeah. that uh, resilient. Well, just like that meme you sent me. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. Um, give me these and this. Yep, and these Make are these mine. Guess. These are guests. Um, okay, how do we want to do this? Boop. So I'm thinking about going around the. Well, you know what? Take your guys around the asteroid field. We'll be the frontal assault. Okay. We uh, have torpedoes and stuff. Each of my ships have torpedoes. All right. Um. um, 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 um so which side? I'm gonna tell my guys long range. Um. Should I be running silent? Yeah, just make sure I would put your guys like over in that fog over there and go around the asteroids. Because my thinking is that if you come from behind them, like we'll over here. In. Yeah, because my guys have torpedoes at the front. Both ships have torpedoes, so I'll just lay into them with sort of torpedoes. And I've told these guys that they are to engage at thirteen point five meters so they'll be firing at long range okay their guns are shit at this range but it'll be fine all right sounds good i'm ready same all right i'm gonna move them up here to this left or most the only thing fog. i'm gonna do different is i am gonna send the scout up as fast as possible yeah, that will instantly identify it to the enemy, so they know what that is, but that's all yeah, right. But that's fine. I just want him, like, I don't care, because I just need him to scout it. I see the enemy fleet. See it? Yeah. I'll readjust these guys' as quarters. Repositioning. The enemy fleet has come up on our augers. Augment. <laughs> so they're in that gas cloud right now. Oh! That's the way you, that's how you do the signal. Uh -oh. Okay. It's underneath the map. Boop. Ah, uh, yes, I see. No, I have seen people do, though, the um, the campaign of Dawn of War 2, and it's pretty cool. Like, you get, I think you get, like, a bunch of ships and whatnot. Okay, I'm going to order him to pull 360 and just hightail it out of there. Yeah. Look like just a couple of guys. Yeah, there's just a couple of them. We can take them. Easy. All right, my fleet's still moving up. Torpedoes away. We stand ready. I am listening. Acquiring new vector. You might actually get a good hit. Don't, I could have swore this guy had torpedoes. I think you're going to hit him, actually. No. Oh, nope. I, no, you're it right. hit his exactly. shielding at least. Maximum burn. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a dwarf here. There's like a little scout ship. Oh there. yeah. I didn't even see him. All right. I'm coming in from the flank. I'm gonna tor. Oh, that's too close to torpedo. For where we are needed. 
Right. We are revealed. Engage this guy that's flanking me. I'm gonna. I need to go help the scout. Copy. Energize vector thrust. Where should we strike? He's marked. I am listening. Setting priority target. Boarding. I am listening. All power to engines. At your command. Execute high energy turn. Hold course. Torpedoes away. At your command. Shoot, they're destroying the torpedoes. Obliterate that target. I'm getting the scout out of here. Rearm. Boarding party out. Honor the chapter. They're not doing good with their, uh... Did I just lose the light one? Yeah, we lost the light guy. I lost my, I had my escort. Alright. I'm bringing up the shielding on my Imperial Fist ship. How's it going over there? We're doing fine, I think. We stand ready. We're trying to board as much as we can and really suffer them. Void shields are down. New vector acknowledged. Oh yeah, I see their mini one. I'm moving in for their mini one. We're gonna take it down. The Optimus. Yeah, it's Warhammer 40k, but it, it kind of does remind me of Star Trek as well. Oh, um, I'm gonna put this as host for. Oh no, no, never mind. I'm gonna ram it. I'm gonna ram it. Oh! I heard. I hear the Hulks. How's it going over there? Good. So now, are those ships that you send out the Thunderhawks? Boarding ships? Um, I think so. Yeah. We're doing a lot of damage. We're gonna send in boarding torpedoes. Bring up the void shields. Once uh, we're done with this battle, I gotta head off. Really? We almost got him. Your guys have pretty good shielding over there. Shoot, my guys are taking hits. Let's 
try and get boarding torpedoes out. Emperor's children's ship isn't looking too good. Here comes my boarding. Thunderhawks. One Thunderhawk is down. We did it. There's just one more. It's over on the rear. Alright. Full turn. We stand ready. At your command. Full speed. Repositioning. I am listening. Engage ancient red lines. He's marked. Prepare for impact. I am listening. Man. It's really taking down my shields. Gotta supercharge it. Alright, send out the interceptors. Alright. Show us the enemy. Main batteries fire. Begin rearmament. Generator damage. Their shield is down. That's a horrifying demon head on top of there. Almost got him. My Imperial Fist ship is taking a beating though during this. You know what? You could take a little bit more. Let's get them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's a, like a double ram. Oh, uh. no, this is where you go. Broadsides fire! That is how you finish off the enemy. That's like Black Flag, full spot. <laughs> their their hull hits everyone. Everybody's falling back. Some people are holding on to the cannons. You broadside fire! <laughs> you see the Emperor's children, Captain, in slow motion walking down the bridge as it's blowing God. apart. <laughs> well, the Emperor's children's command this guy's electric guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they the ones that, or is it, aren't they the ones that do the rock, the screen <coughs> marines? Yeah, the noise marines, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so that's the guy playing his horns. That's one op I want to do with the Warhammer one, is get the template working for the Space Hulk, and have you guys board it as Space Marines. That'd be and cool. And Chaos has boarded the ship. So, like, it's above the <coughs> planet thing, and then that's, oh, and I also have to try to get the, the uh, drop pods working. You know the ODST drop pods. I want to get those working so that we can use orbital, like orbital drops. I think that'd be a fun for ops, even if it's as escape pods. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so I lost the Redeemer. Yeah, I my ship took a lot of damage as well. Not bad as mine, the Endeavor. Yeah, you you guys bad. took a big brunt of it. Yeah, we did everything we could to hold them back. It's all right, we still took the sector, or the system, I should say. I do want to see one thing before you have to go. Uh-huh. Because I think you won't be on tonight. Uh, oh. yeah, probably. I'll be on. Um, oh, no. I thought we would be up there so we get the um, Imperial, my Imperial Fist, my um, Imperial Fist, the other one. 
I do dislike the fact that you can't build um, like that if I go into co-op and do noob ships I can't build ships I do think that's kind of stupid Yeah. as that restrains the cooperative thing like I don't even care if it's like okay listen I'm gonna like the host decides which fleet you get to control yeah like if the host says okay well Fett you can edit this one I can get a new Vanguard. Actually, I can't yet. I can, actually. Okay, so if you select a shipyard, you can actually build more because there's more construction points at that shipyard. Okay. Do what? Based on what shipyard you have, you can build certain ships because it costs oh, construction points. Yeah. All right, I'm going to so, get another Vanguard for the Imperial which, Fist fleet. Oh, I think you have to go back to the Colston to build it, don't you? Nope. Oh, wow, that's nice. I get it. It costs you that system's construction points. Yeah. Okay, I get it. All oh, right. I just... Re oh, of course. So I can't build the ships, but if I want to repair the ships, I just click on that and... Oh, shit, <laughs> shit, no, no, you can repair. That's the stupid thing. It's like there's so little, like, like it's like, oh, we'll let you do this, this, this. Can I build the ships? No, of course not. It's like playing Legos with your best friend. I know. And it's like, it's like, okay, you can do this, this, this. Can I build the town? No, hell no. You can touch <laughs> the bricks and you can tell me what bricks to use, but you sure as hell can't build the city. Duh. God, you're an idiot. <laughs> Um, this is a lot of fun. Um, though I'm sure there there is more to this sector, isn't there? I don't know. This is all there is right here. I wonder if it will change up. Cause, like, I like, I take it. I'm gonna take it. It's like, yeah, current offensive. Yeah, I, it's gotta be a long campaign. Cause I cause you gotta be able to fight the Eldar and everything. I think you gotta take Col um Cadia. Once you take Cadia, I wouldn't be surprised if more sectors open up with the Eldar and Tyranids. That would be interesting. But um, this has definitely won me over a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely great. Um, it's just that shipbuilding. I think that's bullshit. Yeah, okay. Um, Imperial Co-op is what I'm calling it. I'll look into the game and decide. I know there's a few things that I'm looking into. So tier three, we get another Adeptus fleet. So that'll be fun to get. I know what I'm doing in a co-op. I'm just selling the Imperial Fist fleet and we're changing it out for <laughs> the the, uh, the Dark Angels. But that might be a very stupid idea as well. But, um, oh, of course. So I can remove the fleet. I can say remove. <laughs> I can say guard position. But sure as hell, when it comes to building one. That is so stupid. Like, <clears throat> so I'm going to... Yeah, like see, like like you click on new fleet or new ship. So all my ships are repaired now. Um, I'm gonna let my ship kind of repair automatically here and save them. Actually, I can't even repair it because I don't have enough money. No, I bought it. <laughs> I clicked it because I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. But it can repair automatically here. Because you just click on the plus sign, right? I uh, repair all next to the new ship. I mean, even if it was like, if I said I wanted to add a ship and it had to go through you to add the ship, I'd be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Like, that wants to build this ship onto it. It's going to cost this much. And you say, no, I don't want you to build that shit. Okay. And you just deny it. We could also, next time, we can take the next system pretty easily, too, mm -hmm. because now we've buffed you up our fleets. You want to say next time, but the game will be, it won't be, I won't be able to play it Monday. Uh, well, I might be on later tonight. Maybe we'll do it again tonight. Yeah, we'll see. I gotta finish the map with uh, Legion Studio so that um, so that Bondor can come and rip me a new one. <laughs> now, Fett, listen here, Fett. You can't do this shit. 
It's Phoenix. Fat buddy. Like I still remember, like they were like it was like people were not happy with me. Like they were very upset over the fact that I was Legion studioing an art like on the uh 327th server. And I was like, what is the issue? It it's a mod. Why why is this a problem? Like, why is this such an offense? Like, it's a game. What is the offense here? Right, I also told my see. boss, so I got my message back. Um, yeah, no, I'm just going to come in Tuesday and Thursday and work. So I'll be, so I can do, so I'll probably be on tomorrow morning for a little bit. I do like this game, though. Um, final opinions on the game from me. Hark has played it. I have not. Um, I think doing this cooperatively has showed me a lot of new things to it that Hark even told me about that changed my opinion of the game. Um, I do like the co-op mode. I think it adds a lot of cool and interesting mechanics to the game. It's just there's little bugs yeah. that really piss me off. Really things that kind of shouldn't be It's almost problem. It's like, you know what? It's like No Man's Sky. I love No Man's Sky. I like its ideas. There's just little things that piss me off. Yeah. Everything else is fine. It's just there's little stuff that I go, okay, you know what? That's stupid. You know what? That's really stupid. God, you're an idiot. That's kind of stuff. 